One topic sure to come up in Nevada, the State Department set to release another 1,000 pages of the former Secretary of State's emails from her personal unsecured server at any moment. Here she is, though, at her Las Vegas campaign office talking about the release. Have you always told the truth? I've always tried to. Always. Always. Some people are going to call that wiggle room that you just gave yourself. Well, no, always, I, always tried to. No, I've I mean, always Jimmy tried Carter to. said, I will never lie to you. You know, you're asking me to say, have I ever? I don't believe I ever have. I, I don't believe I ever have. I don't believe I ever will. My political power panel is here. Kat Tim from the National Review, Democratic strategist Erica Knudy. So, Kat, what about Yoda? There is no try, there is only do. Did you lie or not? Where are we with this? Absolutely. I don't even know what I tried to tell the truth would mean. It could mean, I guess, oh, I tried, I told myself I would, but I wound up lying, which is bad, you're still a liar. Or it could mean, oh, I tried to tell the truth, but I just didn't know what the truth was because I don't know what's going on, which just means you're incompetent. So either way, trying isn't good enough, and this just is another thing that makes her look worse and worse every day. Erica, I want to bring you in on this because as we were just hearing from my colleague Peter Barnes, I mean, Senator Sanders, quite frankly, is doing so much better than anybody, even in the Democratic Party, thought he would. To what extent do you think Hillary Clinton feels that threat? Oh, I think uh, they feel it very, very much so in the campaign. I think she's feeling it as well. Um, I, I think there's kind of a, a little bit of how is it that a 73-year-old white man is beating a woman with a great civil rights record and a great um, relationships with all kinds of different communities and, and with young her women. across the board. Yeah, exactly, and young women. Um, so if you're looking for, you know, everyone talks about millennials and Snapchat and what are they into, who would have thought it's a 73-year-old guy from Vermont? Yeah, point well made indeed. 